Hello, I'm Lindsay Hookway. I'm a paediatric nurse, health visitor, international board certified lactation consultant and gentle sleep coach. And this is a short presentation to help you understand how milk production works. So given that um, uh, low milk supply is the thing that most women worry about and is the most common reason for women to either stop breastfeeding or begin to introduce formula supplements, it's really important um, that you can have a good working understanding of how milk production works so that you can have more confidence in yourself um, and you can be um, uh, more at ease with what your amazing body can do. So within your breast you have more than enough milk making cells um, and all of the milk that your baby needs is made inside those milk making cells inside your breast and your body is going to prioritise your baby over you. So whether you have a poor quality or an amazing quality diet, your milk is going to be um, of extremely good quality. Um, having said that, it is important um, to eat well because you're basically going to get the leftovers so your baby will eat well um, but if you don't have a good quality diet then you might feel a little bit run down so do eat well but know that um, really nothing you eat is going to make any big difference to your milk quality. So a lot of people wonder how quickly your breast kind of refills itself and really this depends on the demand and in fact it's more helpful to think of um, breast milk as being a demand and supply system rather than um, it's so often um, referred to as a supply and demand and actually um, your, bro your body isn't going to make milk that um, you don't need because it actually takes a lot of energy to make milk. Um, so your body is going to only make the milk that your baby asks for and your baby is going to ask you for feeds by doing lots and lots of different things and you'll get to know what those individual cues are um, when you get to know your baby and they might be things like wriggling or rooting that's when they um, turn their heads to the side to try and locate the breast and the nipple um, they might start to chew their hands they might start to make licking or mouthing movements, they might start to murmur, um, they might put their hands in their mouth and they might do this very sweet woody woodpecker head bobbing um, thing which is which is very sweet but it's a feeding reflex um, so if your baby makes any of those kind of movements or noises then the chances are that your baby is trying to tell you that they would like to have some milk. Um, and because your body is so efficient um, if you don't allow your baby to feed as often as he or she wants to feed, actually your body gets the message slowly that you don't really need all of that milk. So it won't actually carry on making milk that you don't ask your body to carry on making. So if you get very full, your body thinks, well, we don't want to get um, engorged, we don't want to get an infection, so we're just going to slow down milk production. So I'm going to show you um, what I mean by um, showing you with this glass of orange squash. So you can see in the picture on the left, we've got a fairly well-drained um, glass, okay? And you can also see that it's quite orangey looking, so it's very concentrated. Um, and if you imagine that this is a fairly well-drained breast, Okay, so if the baby's had a very good feed and the breast is pretty, pretty well drained, and remember that the breast is never really empty because milk production is pretty constant, um, your body can go ahead and just um, make plenty of milk. So you can see in the photo that I'm um, pouring water freely into that glass because there's loads of space. Um, so that glass is definitely not going to overflow. But if you have a look at the picture on the right with that very, very full glass, not only can you see that um, the, the squash is more dilute now because I've added a lot of water to it, but you can also see that it's about to overflow. Um, and when your breast gets very, very full, um, your body doesn't want you to explode. And in fact, this is why we don't explode. It's because when the breast gets um, very full, milk production slows down or even stops um, to protect you. 
So this is a very sensible system um, so that your body doesn't waste energy um, and also so it doesn't, um, uh, you don't run the risk of getting an infection. So basically, if you feed your baby um, very frequently, what's going to happen is you're going to keep milk production um, working pretty quickly, okay, because the breast is going to be fairly well drained and there's plenty of space in the breast to make more milk. Um, if you allow um, your breast to get very full, milk production is actually going to slow down. So this is really important to know if you're trying to keep your milk production high um, or if you're trying to increase your milk production because a lot of people feel quite reassured when their breast feels very, very full because they know their baby is going to have a really big feed. And it's true, the first time or maybe the second or third time that happens, your baby will have a big feed. But actually what you... Um, gradually tell your body by doing that is that we really don't need all of this milk we just need to slow down um, and um, not get quite so full because actually we're not really needing this milk so um, the quickest way to reduce your milk supply actually is to allow yourself to get very full so the upshot really is that it's best not to worry about how frequently your baby feeds in the early weeks unless of course he or she isn't feeding frequently at all so uh, what we mean by frequently is at least 8 to 12 times in 24 hours and don't forget that that might not be um, regularly every 2 to 3 hours um, many many babies um, feed quite erratically they might have bursts of cluster feeding um, followed by um, a longer gap. Um, lots and lots of babies feed extremely frequently in the early weeks and then settle down as they get a bit older. Um, but rest assured it is so much easier to establish a good milk supply early than to try and increase it later on. And if you watch the video on how to get milk supply established in the early days, um, I'll talk a little bit more about how to establish milk supply and why it's so important um, to get your baby feeding frequently and effectively in the early days. So the bottom line is the fuller the breast is, the slower the rate of your milk production. So if you're working um, to increase your milk supply or uh, maintain a really healthy milk supply, keeping your breast as well drained as possible gives your body the message that we really do need this milk, you need to carry on making plenty of milk for this baby. Um, and the reason this is so important is that um, believe it or not, breastfed babies drink about the same amount of milk between one and six months, um, which is in contrast to um, milk volumes for formula-fed babies who drink more and more milk the bigger and older they get. But um, a little known fact is that breastfed babies don't um, have that um, pattern of feeding. So actually, if you can establish your milk supply in the first two to four weeks of your baby's life, actually your baby is going to carry on drinking about the same amount of milk all the way through um, until they start solids at about six months. Um, so the lovely thing about that is that if your baby has been gaining um, weight well in the first two to four weeks, there is really no reason to think that you're ever going to have a problem with low milk supply unless you have some sort of disaster. Um, but, but really, um, establishing your milk supply in the first few weeks will set you up for hassle-free, um, plentiful milk production for as long as you choose to breastfeed. It's also important to know this because if you express for any reason, um, you may notice that your milk volumes don't carry on getting bigger um, as your baby gets bigger. Uh, and this is completely normal and it's for the same reason that I've just talked about, um, that breastfed babies drink the same amount of milk, um, give or take a few mils here and there, all the way through till six months. So if your baby's feeding pattern doesn't change, um, don't expect your um, expressed milk volumes to change very much either. I hope that helps you to understand a little bit more about how your body makes a really good milk supply for your baby. Thanks for watching.